I might have something to say about uh, helping get the word out. It has been a very well-kept secret. So my name is Randall Ross. I'm a community manager at Ubuntu. I work for Canonical, and I'm a self-acclaimed open power rebel. I'm part of the rebel force. I have been for a couple of years now. Uh, just out of curiosity, how many people have heard of Ubuntu? Oh, look at that. How many people run Ubuntu? It's um, almost, almost the whole room. How many people run Ubuntu on open power? OK, well. Quite a, quite a few people still, thank you. How many people are rebels? Everybody, all right, all right, good, good stuff. So um, I'm gonna cheat a little, I have some notes here, I wanna stay on topic, so I'm probably the only one that uh, is going to get prompted. But I'm excited to be here today. Um, I have an announcement to make. You're here at the world premiere of the Open Power Ambassador Program. So you're here seeing this uh, program revealed for the first time. Uh, we're making history, and you're here to hear the story right from the beginning. So welcome. Um, I'm proud to introduce the Open Power Ambassador Program. So I, oh yeah, I'll go back. See, I don't like words on slides, but it kind of burns me because then I don't know what the slides are about, so I have to read. So if you forget what the slide is about, I put a prompt at the end of every slide, so you don't have to read until I get past it. I know what you're thinking when I say ambassador program, you're probably thinking something like this room, dry, stuffy, looks kind of like the European Union or maybe United Nations. But this isn't what we envision for the ambassador program. This is the, the exact opposite of what we envision. Um, we're looking for people who want to project a fun spirit a sense of collaboration, a sense of openness, not a political board of, well, you can see the photo. So the opposite of this photo, fun, open, and game-changing is the goal. How many people know where this bridge is? Not one person, the cameraman knows. So this is the bridge between Canada and the United States at the Windsor-Detroit crossing. The Ambassador Bridge, very appropriate bridge for this conversation. Um, so we've been doing open power now for a few years and um, we're kind of a victim of our own success. We have so many companies involved now, so many um, venues where we need to get the word out, but so few people to help us get the word out. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and build a bridge from those of us in the foundation who have been living and breathing this for a few years now. To those of you who are perhaps lurking outside the foundation or maybe just peripherally involved or maybe your friends who aren't involved, we're gonna build a bridge from us to all of you and then we are going to help you build a similar bridge out to the general public. So we don't continue to hear what we heard George say, uh, we're the best kept secret in the industry. We are not gonna be the best kept secret in the industry for very much longer. So hopefully uh, everyone in here is ready, willing, and able to help us build a bridge. There's the cheat notes. How many people used this radio before? Nobody, yeah, no one's, that, no one's that old in the room. I'm almost that old. I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> that was unrehearsed, by the way. Thanks, Greg, for putting up your hand. Actually, I think I did use this radio once. So what is the, um, the Ambassador Program? It's a program designed to spread the reach of open power and awareness of open power. It's designed to equip people, much like this radio in older years, equip people with the tools they need to be successful in spreading the message and evangelizing the project. And it's also a mechanism to foster closer collaboration between birds of a feather. We want to get our ambassadors talking to each other and we want to get uh, birds of feather sessions set up so that we can share the messages that resonate and the messages that we can take to those who don't know about us yet. Okay. I'm big on quizzes today. Does anyone know who this man is? Nobody in the room. Oh. Greg, do you know? No. No, okay. <laughs> Just checking. So this is Blitz. Meet Blitz the Ambassador. That's his real name, Blitz the Ambassador. He's a hip hop artist. You should look him up. I think he's from New Jersey. But anyways, so I put Blitz up on the screen because 
Blitz obviously looks like a dynamic and passionate performer. Uh, exactly the type of energy we're looking for in our ambassadors. Um, but don't worry, you don't have to be a singer or a musician. You don't have to be Blitz. But we're looking, we're definitely looking for passion, we're looking for energy, and uh, I think this slide kind of personifies that. So, in a little more real terms, we're looking for people who have demonstrated an ongoing um, commitment and sustained contribution to open power. Um, those who are aligned, obviously, with the goals of the foundation and the goals of the open power ecosystem and platform, and definitely not in a conflict of interest, that goes without saying. Um, those who are comfortable being on stage as a public spokesperson, uh, because we tend to be on stage often, we tend to be in booths, we tend to be speaking at events, so that's a skill we'd definitely like to have. Um, if you have or know people who have influence in a specific sphere that open power touches, uh, people who have followers, social credit, large audiences, maybe they've published something, maybe they've, they've got a, a willing, ready and able audience, then we definitely want to uh, try to get them involved. And, and other legal stuff, you know, they have to be of legal age, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, that's what we're looking for, someone like Blitz. Okay, so why on earth would you want to be part of it? Has anyone driven this car? No one has driven. <laughs> it's an ambassador car. Everything in this slide deck is about ambassadors. So I had not known there was an ambassador car. I think it's out of production a long time ago. But anyways, why would you want to be a part of the ambassador program? What is possibly in it for you? Well, uh, what we can offer is access to open power resources that are only available to ambassadors. Things like early access to community resources, such as uh, community cloud computing resources. Uh, things like free or heavily discounted passes to shows and events where open power is an exhibitor or a participant or a partner in some way. And other goodies that I'll get to later on in the, in the slides. But basically, um, you'd want to be a part of it not only to get the free stuff and the access, but you want to get, you want to demonstrate your commitment to open power, and you want to show leadership in your field, and also get networking opportunities with people who are like you. People who can tell stories like you can, and people who resonate with the messages that we're trying to, to share. That last slide, I was, or that last bullet point, I was going to mention that, but we can't offer you that yet, unfortunately. Okay, so now I've enticed all of you to become ambassadors. That's great. What is an ambassador? What are you expected to do? Well, once a year we have a parade in Iowa. Is it Iowa? <laughs> and no, 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 nothing like that. You don't have to get behind a tractor and wave to people, although it's a pretty neat gimmick. Maybe we should try it. But what you're expected to do as an ambassador is demonstrate the values of openness and collaboration. Um, know and demonstrate the Open Powers Foundation, the Open Power Foundation's goals and mission, and be a brand ambassador, much like a parade am ambassador. Represent Open Power in a positive, friendly, and professional light. And uh, hopefully, no floats with tractors. Okay, another ambassador. Continuing, did anyone drive this car? This is a really neat one. I don't like where the dog is chained, but that's a whole different story. Yeah, uh, there's a, isn't there a Chevy Chase movie with something like that in it? Uh, anyways, what am I expected to do as an ambassador? In a little more detail, um, the, thing, the types of things we envision, this isn't an exhaustive list and this isn't a um, must do everything on the list, it's just, some suggestions of the types of activities that I think ambassadors uh, would be useful and good at. Organize and participate act in activities such as planning sessions, face-to-face -face events in your locale, so you don't have to necessarily travel too much. You could do workshops, presentations, organize parties. How many people have been to an open power party? Nobody. There's an, op oh, one person. All right, there's an opportunity to f for more parties. And Greg. Uh, okay, okay. Um, write blog articles, uh, create videos or be in videos, recruit new Open Power members, 
uh, represent open power at conferences, attend open power summits. I think we can all say we've done that. Share your activities with the broader community. Uh, be big on social networks. Share your photos, share your stories. And check in periodically with the program, the program directors, other ambassadors, to share best tips, practices, et cetera. So what do you get as part of the program? Uh, first, no financial compensation, unfortunately, but you do get, as I mentioned earlier, access to open power resources, complimentary membership in the foundation, uh, sponsorship opportunities. If we have open power related events, you may be compensated for your participation in those events. Um, you'll get marketing materials, you get your name on the list of official ambassadors, access to ambassadors online discussion and collaboration area, and everyone's favorite, it's not on the slide, vanity stuff like an email alias, ambassador business cards, and other things you can hang, hand out. And I had to create these because we don't have this merchandise yet, but we'll get a merchandise kit. <laughs> I swiped someone else's and put our logo on it, so hopefully you can't. So we will be putting together a merchandise kit. Um, the ambassadors will have access to that kit. You'll be able to order it for events and uh, different opportunities. And that's a pretty... How many people have been to this theater? Nobody. I don't even know if it exists. So how do I join? So it's a multi-step process. We're trying to keep it as, as unbureaucratic and as community focused as possible. So we've taken some of the ambassador programs from other organizations and kind of melded them in, uh, taken best practices from say folks like uh, Mozilla, uh, the Ubuntu project, um, some of the other foundations we've looked at. But essentially it's a nomination process, can be self-nominated or nominated by an open power member. Uh, there's a brief application form. It's essentially a wiki page that you modify. There's a template that says state why you want to be, Ambassador, blah, 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 fill it out. Provide some references, uh, provide a statement, and then pass a panel review. And we have a, a panel, we will soon be assembling a panel of ambassadors and the program directors to uh, vet the incoming applications and grant people ambassador status. And, uh, and then you're in. Easy. And you're probably saying, when pigs fly, right? When pigs fly. So when is this program going to be live? We are soft launching here and now, so it's essentially live. We still have a bit of work to do in terms of shaping the exact components of the program, but we will be shaping those uh, over the coming month, so October, November. We are going to have a Birds of, Fe of Feather session at uh, SC16 in Salt Lake. So if you are there or planning to be there, um, please find us. Uh, we'll put some notifications up on the website. And we are going to be fully live in December. So uh, it's right around the corner. We can't promise you one of these. Uh, hopefully, you won't have to stay here. We can't promise you five-star accommodations. But it'll certainly be better than this. We hope. And... Uh, I think the best part of it is you get to work and play with the Rebel Force. And I like, to, I like to call them the most fun and interesting team in modern computing. So I hope you'll join. I hope you'll consider becoming an ambassador. Get your name in lights. Congratulations. You've joined the Rebel Force. And uh, if you want to get involved, please reach out and stay tuned to the program. We'll have updates on the website. If you want to go check it out now, there's not much there, but we're starting to publish content. And you can email the program director, or you could email me directly, bypassing the program director. It's the same email box right now. But eventually, you could bypass them and email me. But thanks, and please keep in touch. There's my contact details. Thanks.